In the heart of London today, a strange calm. Reminders of the horror that unfolded here yesterday and evidence of a criminal inquiry still underway. At New Scotland Yard, a minute's silence from the police. And inside the House of Commons, the same. For the first time, Theresa May, as Prime Minister, has to take the lead on a terrorist attack. She struck a defiant note. Yesterday, an act of terrorism tried to silence our democracy. But today, we meet as normal, as generations have done before us and as future generations will continue to do, to deliver a simple message. We are not afraid and our resolve will never waver in the face of terrorism. PC Keith Palmer died defending Parliament yesterday. His family described him as a wonderful dad and husband, a loving son, brother and uncle. The 48-year-old was a Charlton Athletic fan and a former soldier. PC Palmer had devoted his life to the service of his country. He had been a member of the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command for 15 years, and a soldier in the Royal Artillery before that. He was a husband and a father, killed doing a job he loved. He was every inch a hero, and his actions will never be forgotten. Yeah. One MP had served in the Royal Artillery with PC Palmer. Their paths had then crossed again at Westminster. He was a strong, professional, public servant and it was a delight to meet him here again only a few months after being elected. We're learning more about the others who died. Aisha Frade was the mother of two young daughters. She worked at a central London college and was run down on Westminster Bridge. She was a lovely girl, lovely lady, lovely, two lovely children, nice husband, nice, they're just all a nice family, you know. I'm just so sad and I can't, I just can't grasp it. I just can't grasp it. Kurt Cochran from Utah was in London with his wife Melissa to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. She is still seriously injured in hospital. And on Westminster Bridge, three police officers were injured as they returned from a commendation ceremony for bravery. Two of them remained seriously hurt. In her statement today, the Prime Minister strikingly listed all the nationalities of those injured. In addition to 12 Britons admitted to hospital, we know that the victims include three French children, two Romanians, four South Koreans, one German, one Pole, one Irish, one Chinese, one Italian, one American and two Greeks. Listening to her in the Commons, Foreign Office Minister Tobias Elwood he had tried to save PC Palmer with mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Fifteen years ago, the MP lost his brother in the Bali terror bombing. This morning, MPs made their way back into a parliament that was still largely sealed off. Among them, Jonathan Reynolds, who last night posted this picture of him and his son, who'd been in a creche inside the parliament building. There was a lot of shock, but you know, we're back here the morning after, Parliament is open, Parliament is sitting, people are going about doing their jobs, the rest of London is functioning exactly in the way it should, and that, that is the message to come out of this. The painstaking and painful investigation continues. In streets that have been locked down for most of the day, it's been hard for people to pay their respects. But in the days ahead, there will certainly be more tributes like this. Andy Bell, Five News.